There's no replacement for displacement mindset. Which in some engine pipes that there's probably there's probably some truth to that. Right. In motorcycles it's it it's it's not always true. Nope. You can generate horsepower. You can make horsepower and torque in two different ways. And both of those things are going to play differently into the performance aspect of a motorcycle. Yeah, it, when you're getting to that. And this has been proven. Just a great, great point is a king of the baggers bike that is a 107 turbo. Right. That's making 233 horsepower. Right. We're not not, not talking like a 131 yeah, one, high compression, big displacement motor here. No. It's a turboed, so what, small displacement, smaller so displacement. So right there, what you're getting in is the flow. Right. How air much, in, air out. Air in, air out. Yeah. Air fuel to, mixtures. Yep. Make, make, how fast can you get that? Through that motor. Right. And then the other thing is revolutions. How fast and how, how, how many revolutions can you get that motor to do? Okay. So even, so uh, this is always a fun one that I always like to talk to people about too, because it's like every sport bike guy out there, whether you ride a Honda, <laughs> we know how we talk about Hondas <laughs> for <a> Yamaha, <laughs> you know, let's just talk about sport bikes. Okay. So, from a sport bike perspective, you know, everybody's like, oh my God, that R6 is fast. 